What's going on, y'all? So lit. Y'all, okay. Once again, first of all, let me start this off by apologizing that this is a little bit later than it usually should be. Um, Some stuff went down earlier today, so I had to catch up. So, you know, it is what it is. But, scandal. <laughs> I had to, girl, something caught me dead in the middle of it, so I had to stop and put it on pause and then, you know, take care of that issue and come back and rewatch it again because I had missed some stuff. Listen, um, I'm just going to breeze through this because this was an opening episode to establish who the fuck is in charge, bitch, okay? Now, we got Millie. She's the president. The news outlets are putting out there that um Luna Vargas then uh passed away. She had a heart attack and all that shit. I was like, you know damn well she didn't have no heart attack. Olivia and Jay killed her ass, but that's what the public don't know. The public don't know none of this shit that's going on behind the scene. We all know that Olivia Pope is new command, okay? B six thirteen is her shit. And this episode, she tried to make it known that it was her shit, bitch. All right. We going through um, Millie's first 100 days and all these uh, policies and stuff that she's trying to put in there. You know, she's trying to pass the Vargas bill or at least get the senator votes that she needs um, to pass it. And the Vargas bill is basically trying to have free college for people, you know, and it was Frankie's main focus he was a democrat and now she want to take up that issue to honor him basically and it's this program i said why y'all ain't had sally langston up on there but i tell me what his name is the look is he hispanic you know um he has this little program where his mother is an immigrant but he's all against this free college type of stuff i said so what are you a republican or something like that Ugh. Okay, and he had this senator on there named Mr. What is it, Michael something or whatever. He was just against the whole thing. So he was like, you're not going to get my vote on this. And Olivia said, bitch, you thought, okay, had her come, had him come to her office. Mind you, mind you, Olivia had to show us that, you know, she's a bad bitch. And I said, girl, we already fucking know that. Can we get down to the nitty gritty? Olivia is feeling her fucking self this season already, okay? Um... Kevin, what is going on, boo boo? Oh, I gotta text him. But, um, hold on one second, y'all. I gotta really find out what's going on. It's important. Anyway, sorry about that. You know, life is life stuff is important. But uh, what I was saying, Olivia, you know, she had to make known that she was a bad bitch. And she, you know, got new inches. Okay, I don't know what it is, but my ladies and even some of y'all, my, my dudes that watch too, when we get our hair did, <laughs> and especially when it be fresh as shit, and we go out that first time to show that shit off, bitch, we be feeling ourselves. That's what Olivia Pope did, okay? You know, they had her in the maternity wig last season because she was pregnant towards the um, middle end of the season and all that shit. But this season, she didn't got some inches on her. Baby is flat eyed with a little bit of value, just a little bit. It's that old Olivia bounce to it that we used to from the um, earlier seasons. I said, all right, bitch. And is it me? But did Miss Olivia Pope look a little bit younger than she usually do? I said, did you just age backward? Let me tell you something. Carrie Washington look good as fuck up in this um, episode. I ain't even gonna fucking lie. I said, pregnancy, having a baby, and all that shit afterwards does the body good on your ass, okay? Um, moving on from that, she had to tell her boy, you're gonna vote for this um bill. You're gonna say yes. He was like, no, I'm not. She said, yes, you are. She goes to her safe and she got the evidence that, baby, I got tapes and all this stuff about you and the shit that you be doing behind your uh her, uh your wife back and you know you say you for one thing but you actually out here doing other things and if you don't want this shit to get out you're gonna vote yes he was like okay reminds me of the guy that the republican that guy is his name tom or something the one who was very much pro um life and he got his mistress pregnant okay and he was out here trying to get his mistress to get an abortion Mm-hmm. Now he has to resign. Yes, that's what it sounds like to me. 
Then we have Olivia, you know, um, <clears throat> sitting down with Papa Pope. And it just seems so fucking weird to see how the tables have reversed, okay? Remember in the previous seasons be when um Olivia and Papa Pope wasn't getting getting along at all and he was um he was just stalking her a little bit, trying to make it seem like no matter what you do, you can't get one over me because I'm always watching you. I know your every moves and all this stuff. She's doing the exact same thing to him. He was like, what, you got cameras on me? You got this? She said, bitch, I'm in charge, okay? You know, you're going to sit here. You're going to have dinner with your daughter. You're going to do this. And it's the same speech that he gave to her. I said, oh, shit, bitch. Olivia is really trying to show us that she in charge. She said, you know what? I took an L for two, uh, like maybe three, two and a half seasons. Now I got to show y'all what the fuck it is. I said, well, damn, bitch, go ahead and do that shit, okay? You know, um... He was trying to tell her, you can't have it all. The stuff that I was trying to do, you trying to do that shit and I couldn't do it. She said, bitch, yes the fuck I can. I said, oh, you going to do that. And she's just going to try to uh, trump this whole thing and prove everybody wrong. You know that's what Trump does, okay? He's just trying to prove everybody wrong and make it a comp. Girl, we ain't got time for that. But, and, and this is Republican, so whatever. Um, Back at Olivia Pope and Associates. Remember that she gave it over to Quinn. Quinn and changed it from Olivia Pope to Quinn Perkinson uh, Associates. And I was like, girl, even David said, bitch, the reason why you ain't getting no cases because don't nobody, Olivia Pope and so Associate, that's an iconic name. Okay, don't nobody give a shit about no Quinn. <laughs> that's basically what he was saying. But um, Abby's still there. I said, y'all really forgave her? But okay, I mean, time heals wounds, I guess. But... I'm petty like that, and I just ain't got, I can hold a grudge like a motherfucker, and you just really, no. But, um, she needs some cases, and she trying to ask David, you know, you got some people in the higher up that need some cases, that, I mean, need some things fixed and all that stuff, David can't help, and then this lady comes in, and she's like, I need help, my father's gone missing, he's over in Basura, um, and they look up the information, kind of find out, you know, it was this guy who kept on following him, following him, following him. And then, you know, every time he sat down on the bench, the guy was there. When they finally uh, got Huck to hack into the stuff. You know, Huck is over the whole fact that every time, you know, Charlie and Quinn start talking about their marriage, coming up, upcoming marriage and their baby, he just be sitting there like, so y'all really going to talk about this shit in front of me? Because you know Huck still won't quit. I don't give a fuck. I really, I would not be surprised if by the end of this season, because y'all know this is the final season, that um, Huck and Queen get together or they fuck around. You know, she dead ass pregnant right now, but still, you know, shit can happen. Um, They called him a fellow traveler, meaning that, you know, the guy that they're looking for, this professor guy, he's a cia agent and so her uh queen tried to get the information over there to olivia olivia didn't want her to come up into the door and i said girl look at her hair look at her hair you're not gonna get in i don't care if you gotta pee or not she's gonna tell you go down to the lobby and tell somebody else that you need to pee okay because you're not getting into that i said she got that i just got through fucking and you just interrupted me hair okay it was all over i said because those black women we ain't finna go to bed especially when you even when i Back in the day when I used to have my hair down long and all that shit, bitch, I ain't finna go to bed with nothing. I don't even go to bed even with my hair like this. I still put a scarf on. We gonna wrap that shit and put a scarf on. That bitch just got through fucking. You just interrupted the session, okay? And who she in there fucking with? Jake. I said, Jake, <sighs> why? She want him to look at some stuff. He don't want to look at it. And when she said it's work time, he get in his feelings, put his pants on. And she like, no, nah, okay, okay, okay. I said, don't beg for that dick back. Let him fucking go. But he stays and they do what I said. Of course, we open up the season with Olivia fucking typical. All right. You know, she goes on um, that guy's show and, you know, they're trying to go back and forth about what it is to be for this um free college and why it's needed and things of that such and he's against it she's for it you know the usual banter and because she was getting on that ass he cut her off in the last 30 seconds and then had the nerve to come back to her office later on in the episode to ask her out i said girl go away okay go away sir tell me what his name is because i did not catch it this whole time meanwhile we got cyrus meeting up with this um democratic senator 
Greenwald. And she was just trying to say, you're a Democrat running on a Republican ticket. And I like the fact that they want to do this free college thing. But you know that was a Democrat, um, you know, idea and platform. What we should do is hold off on it. You try to thwart, you know, Millie's little plan to get this shit going. Um, throw a monkey wrench in there somehow. And, um, you know, wait for another three years so that you can get the presidency and that the Democrats can have this idea. He was like, why would I want that? You know, um, it's just not going to happen. Okay. I think about your offer, but at this moment in time, it just, you know, no. And he really wasn't not for her, but he really wasn't for it. You know, he was stuck in the middle, like, give me some time to decide, you know, you got your daughter in Princeton and, you know, other people ain't got a chance to, um, you know, not worry about where they, their education is coming from, the money to pay for it and all that stuff, if they can continue. So he was like, just, just hold off. And so after he's speaking to her, <clears throat> Olivia called him in his office, in her office to, um, talk about some, um, meet some rangerettes. I said, girl, what? Some little kids, Girl Scouts, because Millie couldn't do it. And at that point, you know, Cyrus was over it. And we thinking that Cyrus is about to be like, fuck this shit. So y'all got me up here doing this stupid shit. I'm going to turn on Millie. He goes back and he gets um contact with Greenwald. But he does not say, come on, let's. I'll, I'm here for your plan. No, he says, basically, he can't do what she wants him to do. They don't need to wait four years for this to happen. It needs to be happening now, now that they have that platform. So I was like surprised that Cyrus did that shit. And um, this was after, you know, he had ran into Millie, who came down there with the brain giraffes and was like, you know, it's so crazy that all these years we spent um hating each other and we're actually working together and you've been there by my side nonstop ever since this whole thing happened with, um, you know, Vargas um, passing away. So... Who would have thought we would have been friends? So that kind of clicked something else in his mind. But back to the professor that was um, missing. Jake basically said he's CIA. He's a spy. So we need to kill his ass. She, uh, Olivia was like, no, nah, girl, we ain't trying to do that. And she was like, how can I kill somebody that's a patriot? That's, you know, like an American hero. That is an American. Why would I do something like that? He was like, that is the protocol when spies and stuff. Okay. We get the, um ambassador from the country coming over there talking to Millie and basically put her on front street like I know it's kind of hard that you're doing these difficult decisions and you only been in the office for a short time and you got to do this stuff he was trying to minimize her and, and being very sarcastic with it okay and was like girl no matter what you're gonna say ain't nobody changing their minds I don't know what you're talking about you're not gonna give up with as a man at you know I'm gonna play dumb with you okay I said oh you know wow so Jake wanted to tell the president that we need to just go on here to do all this stuff and um, kill the man. She, Olivia didn't. And so eventually, um, bitch, what happened? I'm trying to fast forward. They was wiretapping him, wiretapping the ambassador, trying to figure out some things about him. The only thing that they found out was that his son was getting bullied. No matter how, which country or your status, you can still get bullied. And they figured that out. And I said, hmm, interesting. Why they make that, a, um, you know, a main thing to focus on? You, you want to know why? You want to know why? Because Millie, they found out that... Um, this whole shit was going on, that dude is a spy, and Jake then went up in there behind Olivia back and went on ahead and said, we need to go ahead and neutralize this whole situation with this guy, and, um, said we need to kill him, okay, they gonna put out a, a, a surge and go ahead and do the shit and try to, uh, you know, do an attack and just kill his ass, I said, ain't that about a bitch, that's fucked up, and Jake, you fucked up for doing that, because Olivia was trying to avoid all this stuff. Jake is saying, you know, it's going to get easier, okay? I mean, you had your first kill, which was amazingly dark, and it was just amazing and beautiful. I said, you would think of something like that um, with killing uh, uh, Vargas, okay? Luna Vargas. But this is something that needed to be done. So, to avoid all of that, Olivia's like, nah, girl, we're not going to do this stuff. I, you must have forgot that. 
I'm fucking Olivia Pope, okay? I'm in command and you're not. And see, at this point, Jake was irking me because he was overstepping. He was overstepping. I don't care if you may think that he was saying something right, but she is command. Now, had you been talking to um, Papa Pope like that, it would never went down. The only reason why he felt he can get away with that is because he fucking that girl. That's it. And they got history like that. But Olivia may know that, uh, uh, uh. She go talk to the American, um, to the ambassador of the country, and he, she was like, "I got this M16 rifle, uh, rifle focused on your child." Okay, showed him the video footage of him, the real time playing on the playground and all that shit. If you don't tell us where old boy at, and if you don't bring him out of this situation and give us, give it back to us, I'm gonna kill your kid. I said, "Ruthless bitch, <laughs> ruthless." Okay. And, um, she was like, you, you, you got it. Huck was like, please tell me that this is a bluff. Please tell me that we bluffing. And all of a sudden, because dude kept on saying, I don't know what you're talking about. We ain't got nobody. She was like, five, we're going to kill your kid in five, four, three. Once she got to two, he was like, okay, okay, okay. Called them and called it off. And, you know, meanwhile, um, Millie had already sent people up in there to the location where he they thought old boy was, and they was killing people up in there, and then kind of found out they don't have the um, actual professor. So at this moment, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Olivia comes in there, and she gets a phone call to give to Millie about the um, the professor being brought over there to the American Embassy. So he's safe, he's sound, and at this point... He's back with the family. The daughter is happy. But Olivia comes up into Millie's office and was trying to tell her some stuff that they need to do. You know, you need to call the prime Min a British prime minister for this and that. She was like, no, bitch, why don't you go ahead and do that? Because I don't need to do shit since you want to take control. Olivia must have looked at her like, bitch, who the fuck you think you talking to? Okay, you must have forgot who really runs this stuff. All right, she said, oh, no. You don't run shit. I run shit. Okay? Yeah, we up in here together, but bitch, I need to learn to trust you. And you're not making me trust you at this moment, okay? This is my office. Olivia said, no, no, no. This is the people's office, okay? You stay in here, and this is on a loan. You leased this bitch for four years and with the option to renew, okay? But this is the public office. I said, oh, oh, you better tell that. You know, she's saying all that shit to her. And basically was like, what you need to understand is, I got your ass up in here. This is my White House, and I'm the one that's running thing. You want to know why? Because I'm the boss, okay? And what you need to do is to know that, hey, it's just about me and you. You don't ever listen to no motherfucking man because they already looking down on you. They already fucking doubting you. I ain't going to strig you wrong or whatever. You listen to fucking me. I said, well, alrighty then. Okay, she put her foot down and let it be known. We running this shit, me and you, but I'm really running this shit. So what I say fucking goes, don't get it twisted ever, okay? You want me to make you a monument, all right? Or you just want me to make you nothing? Which one do you want? Millie was like a monument. <laughs> Olivia gave it to her at the end, though. Like, bitch, don't ever... Don't you ever get it fucking twisted, okay? And um, <clears throat> at the end, um, when she was giving her little monologue speech and just showing, once again, how much of a bad bitch she is, when she was walking through that restaurant and everybody's heads was turning, I'm telling you, it's the hair. It is the hair, okay? That hair, she must got on Fenty Beauty or something, bitch, because she was glowing. And she, no, Olivia Pope was really looking good this episode. I was just taking it back like she looked so young in this episode, okay? And, um... It was just everything. She go back there to her table. She come across the little reporter dude. And um, he comes back there. She was like, so there's a car that's going to be pulling up in front. You're going to get in there and then you're going to go to the district hotel. Um, the bellhop is Mike. He's one of my guys. He's going to give you a key to room 523. All right. You're going to go up there and you're going to be um, open up a door that's already open in there. That's going to uh, go to a conjoined room. And you wait for me there. I said, bitch. She said... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave now.
and you should leave in like 30 seconds. I said, oh, so you really going to fuck him? I mean, go ahead and get your rocks off and don't, and just let it make, that's all that you need to do. Because she had to tell Jake, bitch, let me tell you something. You overstepped. Um, this was a fucked up idea. You know, I was weak. I let your ass back in. I let you hit it. You know, it was a terrible idea to come ahead and start this sex thing again. And so, we're done. It's never going to happen again. I said lies. And uh, she told him, go back home to your wife. I said, oh, you didn't have to do that to him. But, you know, hopefully this season, since it is the final season, it lives up to the expectations of it. And um, we'll see how it goes. But y'all tell me how y'all enjoyed this first episode. And I will see you guys in a few for How to Get Away with Murder. Peace.